As we're gonna see Mousepat and Resta. I'm I'm so excited for this set. It's gonna be a good set, honestly. Yeah. Again, Resta is playing like really, really well today, but this yeah. is Resta's bracket demon. I would like to point out though, um our first tournament of last year had the top three of um Min Main, Mousepat, and Resta. Uh-huh. And the first tournament of this year is Min Main, Mousepat, Resta. 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 You're very right. I did not even think of that. I I just I just remember that right now because I'm looking back to last year's tournament. I mean, it makes sense. Like, oh yeah, like these players. It, when you think of like consistently good, you think of these players, you know. Yeah. And Resta will like occasionally lose to like any of anybody in the ranked in the PR, but it's very rare almost to see him lose to like anybody below. I think he had one lot lose to Ice King last year. Oh, Ice was King's it. good. Yeah. He doesn't come to tournament much, but he is good. Yeah, he's not PR'd, but you could sense he can be PR'd. You know? Yeah. Are we going to jump into... If he, if he came to tournaments consistently, he would be PR in our area. Yes. I absolutely believe that. For sure. We're going to jump into Loser's Semis. Yeah, starting off with this combo from Resta, you know you know it well. This is, uh, this goes is Loser's in. Finals. Loser's Finals, yes. Yeah, this is Loser's I Finals. I forgot. Who's going to be the one to take on Min Main in the winner's side of the bracket? We'll see. And again, like, Rest try to intrude. You see Falco get a hit. Takes it up to 70. 90. Casual. Confirm in the back air. Oh. Not going to kill. Yeah. That was Definitely not. Bowser's a thick boy. Oh, that was a very rough That's angle for Resta for a second. Take it. Very good on him for not Ooh. panicking. Cause that was a very weird angle he got sent with that nair. He got sent downwards, and, like, normal players would be like, oh, shit, what the hell? But nice sight, little Resta side tilt. Resta is on top of Mousefat right now. Mousefat's yeah. got to change up his game plan. Get those hits in where he can get it. Yeah. That was a brilliant catch. Trying to go for the landing up air. Like, I see where he was going for. I think he was trying to punish the illusion. I'm going to be honest. I think Falco's at death percent right now. Oh, absolutely. Especially considering this rage. Yeah, and those platforms. You get hit on one platform. One back air. That'll yeah. take this stock. One fair is not going to take it. Again, when this percent rises, that's that it. will take it. That's it, yeah. I'm about to say when this percent rises, it's scary. But rest is like, I'm not, I'm not worried. I just go down and fair him. Alrighty, this is this is honestly very solid decision from Resta. Just try to stick to a side and use your gun. Just get that chip damage in, get that extra credit. And we're seeing yeah. the we're seeing the Twitter clips. We're seeing yeah. the cutscene combos, whatever you want to call them. You just Falco's got him. Yeah, I feel like you want to be baiting Bowser mostly in this matchup. You don't want to be like trying to go in on him and potentially like messing up and being like, oh well, I'm dead for that. You know, yeah. you definitely want to be the one to bait Bowser. A text him in on point, by the way. Like, I don't think I've seen him miss a tech this tournament yet. Ooh, oh, that was that scary. I thought the B reverse is going to make it so yeah, you did not make it back. That B reverse is so, that's the number one, like, scare of, like, characters like that. Like, you see Wolf do it a lot. You can see potentially, like, B reverse is uh, up B, and it's very awkward when it happens. That was a very good parry into side, side B. That's definitely yeah. going to take that stock. And We're sitting two minutes into this game with two, one stock taking a piece. Yeah, and again, Falco, when this percent rises, it's very scary, and especially if you cannot find a way to get it in, you're just gonna be taking these damage. So scary! I know. 96, you six, just... even game. Mousepad is so good at just like pretty much taking one lead and just like making the most of it. Especially once the person is off of the halo, Mousepad's like, "All right, time to eat. Yeah, time like... to time to dig in. Yeah, that's not." That's not going to take it. Thankfully, yeah. Resta had good DI there. Almost sent packing with that one, but he's not going to be sent packing fully. Catch with the fair. He's going to air dodge. That's such a risky option when you're right hugging the blast zone. Because he potentially can go into the blast zone on accident. That's it. Yeah. That fair. Yep. All right. I think he's took a, like, legitimately 1%. It was a laser that he took. Yeah. From, um, Very minimal amount of percent taken from Re like for Resta. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is yeah, Mousefat just going for the up B, just trying to sneak underneath that fair and it works out for him. Get that up throw. Oh he misses the he misses the conversion. That's a shocking that's a shocking thing coming up from Mousepad. Very much so. And I love the see. empty hop, just given yeah. that fake pressure, but Resta immediately coming back with a fair. That's oh, going that's to it. be yeah. it for Bowser. Oh, this air dodge is bad. Oh, no. Yeah, it's so bad. It's actually, like, atrocious. But we're going to see... You know, just go back in. And, like, I want to see Mousepad just kind of, like, force Resta to approach again. Like, he, he was... That was what got him that lead. That momentous lead. As we see, just 
again, just it's very rough. Gets a side tilt or the side B. Now so it's in a dangerous situation. He's above Falco, some of the best aerials in the biz. As we see again rolling, gets the up B. Seeing a lot of ledge trap. Oh, that's gonna that's, take it. Top that's platform. It. That's it. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna take oh it. Oh my god! With that rage, I was, I I was looking at Bowser's percent. Yeah, uh, I'm. I thought Falco would still die. Honestly. No, 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 no. Oh, this is very bad. I thought a down air was gonna come out, and I'm so yeah. glad that it didn't. I believe both characters need to be afraid because you. Oh, well, well, that's gonna take it. When you get sent the, when you get the kicks, it can Bowser, be very rough. Bowser has that drop kick, which is so much knockback for him. Absolutely insane to see Bowser, uh, Mouse Fat Bowser is taking that first game. Uh, very, very solid play. Oftentimes in this scenario, we see Resta switch characters. I don't want to see that today. Resta's Falco is on fire, and if he just dedicates himself to the Falco, legitimately, like, I think he could take this set. I think he's absolutely capable of it. All right, we're seeing game two go to town and city. This is actually a very big stage for Mousefat. Mousefat loves town and city. I don't think it's actually a character specific thing. It's more so the fact that he just likes the stage and the dynamic feel of it because of the moving platforms. Uh, so I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to see what Resta does that makes this stage worth counterpicking to. Game two, starting now. We're seeing a jump in fair to just a simple jab, simple combo coming out for Mouse Fat there. All right, we're getting that grab just into the simple fair conversion, getting that, getting that simple damage, but very effective and very efficient. All right, Resta getting those snipes off stage with, stage with the laser, just barely hitting them each time. I love that fall down there. It's such a good tool for Bowser. And when you land it, it lands into every single one of your aerials. It works so well in so many scenarios. All right, what's the punish going to be? Oh, the cross up side B to get him to go that. Oh my goodness. Very wonderful play by Mousefat. Mousefat's sitting at 106 damage, but for Bowser, he is very comfortable in this scenario. When you are a heavy player, you have to be very, very confident in the fact that you are going to live for a long time and you just have to be able to take the hits. You have to understand when it's okay to take the hits and you have to know that for your mentality, it's actually completely fine to do that. Uh, it's going to take a lot for Falco to actually get this kill off of Bowser. And really, this is such a hard scenario to come back from. And Bowser has all this percent on him. You feel like you should be killing, but you don't. And that fair still doesn't take it. But the runoff fair does actually take the stock. And we are now at even stocks, but not even percentages. All right, we're seeing the we're seeing the combo come out, but Resta does in fact drop it. Fast back going for a lot of empty hops, shaking the screen with Bowser's big body. Almost taking it with the side B, but not quite there. Oh, the illusion's definitely going to convert into some big damage. Oh, he gets the read on the roll back. Wonderful play coming out from Resta, but it does not matter. He's still getting side beat and he's still dying for it. But he did get a bunch of that extra credit, which against Bowser is very, very vital. Alrighty, this is this is a big opportunity for Resta. He's got the back air. He's put Bowser in a bad position, and he does nail the edge guard. This is this is a big chance for Resta. Oh, and here we go. Nails the illusion. Gets the combo off of it. Reads the dare. Absolutely incredible play. Getting 68%. Nothing to snuff, scoff at. Will he be able to nail another edge guard? No, Mousepad does a very good job of evading Falco's dare. Ooh.
Okay, okay, I gotta respect the option because that was a good it was a good option in that scenario. But that was cheesy as hell. That was that was so cheesy, but I love it. Gotta respect the cheese. The downer knocking him into the stage and just taking it. That is unfortunate for Mouse Fat. But we are going to see uh, a game three even sets at this point. Let's see if my prediction comes true. I don't. I'm not so sure at this point. Rust is uh, Rust is playing kind of hot. Start the battle. Oh. Ooh, banger! Alrighty, we're taking the run back to town and city. I, I think this is good obviously because mouse Hat does actually really enjoy the stage and so does resto so like this is just kind of this is kind of just a solid choice for both players Ooh, using the upper to try to convert into the upbeat and it does actually net him that extra damage getting the quadruple up air into the fair conversion man looking like <laughs> looking like melee falco with that with that ladder combo Trying to ledge trap with the down B, but not nailing the timing quite right. Resta was able to get off in time and actually put Mouse Fat in an incredibly bad position. Run off, run off Bear is going to take it for Resta. Resta is doing a really good job of catching Mouse Fat's recoveries, and that's one of the best things that you can do against Bowser because while it is good, it's not the best, and it's definitely very punishable. Right, Rest is going to get getting a little bit of pressure in there going with the empty hop into the up tilt very solid play like he's been mixing that up pretty well for this entire set solid fair kill that was that was just a good play coming out from mouse right there but rest is responding is he able he nailed the edge guard man resta is on fire Oh, mouse fat dropping shield a little too early. That's gonna oh man, Falco's Falco's ledge grab was good enough to be able to make it back from there. I can see why Falco's enjoy the stage. That definitely uh that definitely helped him get back there. With that with that slight edge that made that pushed him up into that ledge. Man, those lasers have got to be obnoxious. Snuffing out any approach that you can do. And putting you in an incredibly bad scenario. The dare lasting forever. Up B, not quite going to kill. It was a very good DI that time. But the up air is going to take it. Bowser sitting with 103% on him. This is, honestly, I don't think this is a bad scenario for Bowser. Bowser's got that rage going for him. And granted, yeah, he's closer to death, but he does have those crazy combos that can kill you at ridiculously early. If he just nails one Nair into back air at mid percents, that is like GG. Let's see it going for the Nair for the pressure and then confirming into the up, up tilt. Oh, and that was that drop shield just a little too early. Or maybe a shield poke. It does not matter. That was a, that was a very solid Oshmash coming from Resta. We're seeing a 2-1 lead for Resta. Very impressive stuff. Very, very impressive stuff. A lot of the times when we've seen this happen, uh, Mouse Fat is in the lead against Resta. But Resta is putting in the work. He's shown that he's been practicing. What's up? Resta. All right, we're going into game four. Could mean the term tournament life for Mouse Fat. All right, we see Resta going with a little bit more of a defensive option this this time around, changing things up. Snuffing them out with the lasers, getting a solid 12%. Mouse Fat knowing exactly when to do his get up option, going for get up attack and putting uh, Resta in a much worse position for it.
Oh, once again, Mouse Pat dropping shield just a little bit too early. Oh, going for the raw up smash. Love to see it, knowing the confidence is there that he will, in fact, neutral get up. Rest is once again neutral get up. I, I don't know uh, what's happening, but Mouse Pat is generally very, very good at picking those up, and I don't think that he's been doing that during the set. Maybe Rest has been doing a very good job of mixing it up. I'm going to go with that. All right, let's see how Mousepad gets back from this ledge. Going for the jump option onto the ledge just to put him at a little bit more of a safe scenario than that ledge, giving him more options, but it does not matter. Resta converts into the dare off stage once again, and it works out so well for him. He's got that entire stock lead at this point. Ooh, very scary situation for Mousepad, but basically Resta just got pineapple. That's the, the moral of the story. Don't go that deep. We're seeing a solid upbeat come out. Mouse Pat missing the tech chase of the of the pivot grab just barely. Mouse Pat doing the best option of saving his jump and able to make it back because of it. All right, Mouse Pat is once again in a very bad position at high percent. This is. Very, very scary. Jump fair, not quite gonna take it. Put him in a very bad position. Oh my goodness. Down tilt still not killing at nearly 140%. Up air not killing at 150. Nair not killing at 170. Granted, it is Bowser and it is good DI, but that will absolutely take it. Falco down tilt. Very strong kill power. The mouse bat immediately responds with such an amazing edge guard that Resta was not expecting, allowing him to even up the game. Mouse bat getting that crucial recovery, not getting spiked once again. Getting the back air or the back throw. Oh my goodness, Resta's jump saved it for the perfect moment, not having to up B and put himself in a bad scenario. I love the option coming up from Resta. Just get the damage on top of him when he tries to get it for you. It's a genius play. Oh, confirming into the back air. Very solid. Oh my goodness. Um, that is that is what we call a uh, a throw. He he took that game and he threw it in the garbage. He was like, you know, what? I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm gonna come back in game five. I'm gonna take it anyways. But that could be the momentum that Mouse Fat needs the most, and that is terrifying. So, we're coming out for a Game 5. Zostro's prediction was, in fact, correct. It is a Game 5 scenario. Not how we'd want to see it. But, Mousepad's getting a chance at redemption here. Going for a Battlefield pick. I think this is a very solid one for Falco. And, honestly, Bowser can do well at it well. Also, joining me on the mic, we have Zelfy. How you doing, mate? It is cool Zelfy now. <laughs> yes yes those sds were not very sick at all they were they were sick and twisted maybe it's the only kind of sick that we have all right resta resta doing an amazing job sticking to that corner spamming those lasers doing what falco does best the defensive play Yeah, no, this is a game five scenario now. He took that game and he, he SD'd, which is so crucial at that moment. And it's given Mousefat the momentum that he needs in this scenario. It's terrifying for Bowser. Granted, it does give you a little more room to live off of the top, like from the side platforms. But if you land on that top platform, you are in a bad scenario. Right here. If he gets a single side B, I was expecting it. <laughs> Very solid parries coming out from uh, from Mouse Fat here. Also, we just got to respect the Xenoblade med medley. It's amazing stuff. There we go. Hey. Now people should be able to hear me. I forgot me. I'm supposed to be able to hear you. Oops. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> 
Yeah, it was just a mistake. Ooh. Hey, keeps up doing these side bees on the shield, and like I said earlier, Mousefat is really good in the defensive game. Yeah, he, 100%. He Great has spell. such a strong ledge presence as well. He always feels like he knows exactly what you want to do, and he's very good at reacting to yes. it. He has a game plan. Right. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't can't really say. A lot of people here, I feel, are feel based, whereas Mousefat is very much so like he gets in your head and then he formulates his plan off of that. Right. He has objectives that he needs to accomplish. Yes. I feel like a lot of the time, what he says at the beginning of the game, I've heard him do this. He's like, "All right, my win condition is blank." Yeah. He he goes with that for the rest of the games. Right. Well, that was a, such an amazing edge guard coming out from Resta, and that's where he's really succeeding, and that's why he's able to do so well in this set. Is those edge guards are winning him games. Right, Bowser's not an easy character to take down in the slightest, so being able to get that advantage in the ledge is super, super good. It's a big deal. Ooh, almost the width punish. Ooh, amazing pivot grab. He's gonna oh. get the conversion into the fair. How is the edge guard gonna go? Missing the ledge trap on the neutral getup. He yeah, knows he's gonna here. do it. Once again, neutral getup. Mousefat is so patient. He rarely ever goes to call something out. He will just sit there and react. He's not going to call out the neutral getup until it kills. Right. Right. Oh my goodness. He does finally roll. Resta chooses another option. Ooh. That's going to convert into a... F oh, he goes for the fair. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. It's so scary to be whipping any move as Resta right now. It really is. This puts him in such a bad scenario. This is a very tense situation. I forgot that this is a game five. Oh Both of these players are last hit on their second stocks. This is so tense. That's going to take it. Ooh. That is going to take it. Any very, of it from that. Yeah, there's no getting away from that. that like the, I feel like the only character who maybe could have lived was Bowser. And right. even then, it's still, <laughs> it's still not guaranteed. Right. Ooh, the good call out? Yeah, that was a very solid cow going for the up smash, which is a good move in certain circumstances, but a lot of the time can really hurt you. Right. Oh, oh, he does Ooh. make it back with the jump. Very yeah. good usage of the but jump. But he did there. give Bowsfat ample time to set up some type of ledge defense. Yes, that's the biggest thing about like any of the spaces up these is that it takes mm. so long to activate. Oh my goodness! Oh, he <laughs> wanted that ledge from so badly. The extra so laser chip. Oh, oh no! Nailing the high or missing the high recovery. Oh my god! Nice ledge trump. That was so solid from Resta, just yeah. going at the edge and edge guarding him with that fair. Again, yeah. those are winning him games. And, and Resta has to play so carefully now really in order does. to win the rest of this game. But Mousefat also does not cannot play anything other than patient. He has to play patient here. If he goes yeah. in too many times, he's gonna get comboed and he could die from it. A single the hot bear does convert into the true single actual short air. hot bear. Wonderful play from Mouse Fat. Absolutely incredible. Resta putting in some damn good work. That's those one of the some... best sets I've ever seen from those that, two players. Those were just some phenomenal games. Absolutely incredible play.